Welcome to the Bold Signy Signature Tutorial. This video will show you how to send documents securely with identity verification in BoldSign. In BoldSign, the identity verification feature is an authentication method that enhances document security by requiring signers to verify their identities before accessing and signing the documents. This feature ensures that only authorized individuals can view and interact with sensitive documents throughout the signing process. Supported documents include passports, driver's licenses, and national ID cards recognized across various jurisdictions. Additionally, BoldSign provides flexible identity verification settings, allowing users to customize it according to their preferences. It is important to note that this feature is only available to active paid subscriptions to BoldSign, and it is offered as an add-on for $3 per verification process, which is charged at the end of the billing cycle. Charges are incurred once the signers initiate the verification process, regardless of whether the verification is successful or not. Furthermore, charges apply every time the signer retries the verification process. Let's consider a scenario where a real estate agent is tasked with sending a lease agreement to a client for a signature. The real estate agent recognizes the importance of safeguarding the signing process and decides to verify the client's identity before signing the lease agreement using BoldSign. This enables the signers to upload their identification documents for verification before signing, ensuring a secure and authenticated process. Let me demonstrate how to do that in detail. The first step is to access the BoldSign application page. Here I click the Create New button. I choose Create New Document, which takes me to the Prepare Document page. Here I upload the lease agreement form from my computer by clicking the Browse button. Now, to add the recipient's information, I move to the Add Recipient section and input the client's details. I also need to add identity verification authentication to the client. To do this, I click the Settings drop-down and enable the authentication option. This displays the available authentication methods. If the identity verification feature is not activated, there is an option to activate it. Having activated the identity verification feature, I enable the identity verification method. The default verification frequency is displayed here. I can customize the method to reflect my preference. To customize the identity verification method, I click the Edit Settings option. This opens the ID verification dialog box, which displays the setting options. In the identity verification frequency section, I can customize how frequently signers need to authenticate their identity when accessing documents. By clicking the drop-down menu, I can choose from the following options. Every access, where signers must undergo identity authentication each time they access the document, even after completing their signatures. Until signed, where identity authentication is required until signers complete their signatures, after which they will not need to undergo identity authentication. Lastly. Once per document, where signers authenticate their identity only once, even if they access the document multiple times. In the Number of Verification Attempts section, I can specify the maximum number of verification attempts allowed for signers. Once the specified limit is reached, access to the document is restricted. The default limit is 3, but I can adjust the attempts by increasing and decreasing dropdowns. The maximum number of retries is 10. Enabling the Require Selfie Check option ensures the signer's face matches the ID photo, preventing stolen identity use. Activating the Require Live Document Capture option requires signers to capture a live image of their identification document using their device camera. This confirms that the identification document is genuine and not a copied photo. In the Name Match Tolerance Level section, I can set the tolerance level for matching the signer's name with the name on the uploaded identification document from the drop-down menu. The strict option allows minimal variations, strictly following matching rules. The moderate option permits variations in the middle, prefix, and suffix parts of the name. The lenient option allows minor spelling mistakes, offering increased flexibility. In this case, I am going to use the default setting. The default settings can be customized on the business profile page. Once done, I click the Confirm button to update the changes. I check the remaining sections and click the Next button.
This takes me to the configure fields page. This is where I set up the form fields according to my needs. I'll drag and drop the name and email fields for name and email respectively. Next, I drag and drop the signature and date signed fields for signature and date. I then check my changes once and send the document out for signature. The document is now successfully sent. If the signer opens the document for signing, the signer must first undergo the ID verification process before accessing the document. That summarizes how you send documents securely with identity verification authentication in bold sign. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to our channel for more bold sign tutorial videos.